for sure, ma'am, everything will be great. Thank you. So, for sure, a big, big congratulations. Uh, it's the first song which have got 100 million of view in YouTube and also in the social media. So, uh, what are kinds of comments you are getting first, we would like to know. I'm getting all kinds of comments. I'm getting comments like, oh, you know, um, you you performed so amazingly, you're brilliant, we can't stop watching it over and over again, your dance moves, your expressions, you look gorgeous, your look, everything, everything. Okay. I'm so grateful. <laughs> okay, before the uh, shoot of this song, have you seen the original one of uh, yeah, Shushma? Of course, thing? yeah, yeah, of course. When, of course, when the song released, I was very young, I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. I was five years old or six years old. So I didn't see it that time. But as growing up, when I was almost like 13, 14, around that time, I watched it with my friends because we were so obsessed with the songs from the 90s and all the films from the 90s. So at that time, we watched it and I was like really obsessed with the song. Um, so it's something that I have a connection with Pachman say, you know. Um, and of course, I... I idolized Shushmita Sin and her performance and her charisma in the video and how beautiful she looked. Um, so for that to come to me now, uh, that too as a newcomer, it's like, whoa, you know, like I'm getting really lucky. And when it came to me, I said to myself, this is going to happen once in a lifetime. It's not going to happen again. It's something so iconic and so beautiful. So I said to myself, Nora, you need to do your hundred and thousand and billion percent um, and work really hard and give give your all. And, and that's what I did. Okay, have you shown uh, shown to the uh, Sushmita ma'am the song? No, I have not shown it to her yet. But she's really busy and she's not here. I think she's traveling. Yeah, but I mean, I hope to do that. Okay, uh, whenever you perform the the uh, mainly the ba uh, ballet dancing, the, all the audience whenever they say either mesmerized with the performance. Yeah. <laughs> so why only the ballet dancing, not other form? Uh, why do I do only belly dance? belly dance? No, no, I don't do just belly dance. Uh, most of we have seen that you're doing oh, a belly no, dance. No, but I've only done belly dance in Dilbar. And of course on my Instagram. But everything else, like with Raftar, I did a music video which Remo directed called Baby Marbaki Manage. It's a style hai jo actually you won't know about. It's called Dance Hall. So that style comes from the Caribbean. We did that style in that song. Um, it's not very known here in in, Bom in India, but it's coming slowly, that form of style. Um, and in uh, Na, I did very urban style, you know, and Na was with Hardy Sandhu, and it was such a big song. In Manohari Bahubali, we did very Indian style. Um, in all my South songs, I do very massy styles, you know, very, you know, hardcore South Indian dance. Um, and in Rock the Party, which was with John Abraham, also was a very urban okay. style also. So no, actually, the only time you see belly dance will be in my Instagram, when I do those little small, small videos, you know, or on stage. But this will be the first song in Bollywood that I have done full belly dance, which um, the response is just phenomenal. Okay, uh, this, uh, it's a second song with John Abraham. Yes. So how was the experience? Your first one was uh, Rocky Handsome and now this yeah. one. Yeah, um, the experience was very easy. It was so like cool and he was like so um inspiring and encouraging and he constantly complimented me and, and said yes good job you're amazing you're killing it how do you do that oh my god do you have any bones you know so he is really fun to work with he's always fun to work with okay after that we, get, uh, we will also be seeing you in s3 of uh, rajkumar rao mm -hmm. yeah so i had shot that song for Sri with rajkumar rao before dilbar okay. yeah so it was way before dilbar and it's releasing i think soon um and it's very different it's not like dilbar at all it's a very massy number um, it's quirky you know I'm wearing a sari and some sneakers and we're doing these massy crazy dance moves and so it's it's different nothing like Dilbar okay there's also news that uh, you're also a part of a uh, Bharat movie and also a bazaar movie you're doing uh, two songs no. is it true no <laughs> it's not true Okay, uh, we can say that uh, this song is a turning po point of yours because after Dilbar, the many fans are following you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. It is, it is a turning point. I mean, this last six months, my fan following has gradually been increasing, especially with my show on MTV, which I'm hosting, Dating in the Dark. Um, and of course, uh, with Na, even after Na, my fan following has increased and all. But with Dilbar, it's done like a overnight like flip like it's just crazy um when i'm on in the streets when people are stopping me i mean the the kind of people recognizing me and the, like yesterday we went 
for food shopping and these little little girls with their mum are like mum mum deliver deliver i want to meet her you know so it, it's just it's just so so overwhelming and it feels so good because as an artist you feel like you're doing your job you know you're entertaining the audience and they're accepting you and they're they're loving you and and it's there's nothing better than that for any artist okay all, uh, as we all know you have an immense number of followers in your uh, social account and most of the boys uh, wanted to uh, want their uh, life partner like yours uh, <laughs> <laughs> quality you have so what kind of your quality uh, search in a in a life idol partner boy. idol life boy i he should be very confident in himself secure within himself um he should be very loving um for me looks are important so he should look good i'm not going to lie he should be attractive um but of course i need someone who's mentally stable because there are a lot of people who are not there you know mentally stable they're a little bit all over the place and i've met a few people like that so i need someone who's just stable good looking he's not a hypocrite um who's open minded and who's friendly you know loving and friendly okay uh, mary uh, you are the idol of many uh, person in a dance so who's your idol in a dance oh i have many helen madhuri dikshit beyonce rihanna um you know who else you know of course mahdoori's always been someone who i've like literally been a crazy fan of um even when i met her i went goo goo gaga on her you know what i mean um but yeah i mean definitely yeah helen and mahdoori okay uh, nowadays the biopic trend is going on so would you like to do a biopic on any dancer yeah i would any one in your mind i would like to do like helens or madhuris but then i'm not big enough for that but um even like madhu bala because she was such a beautiful dancer right but that's just like something i dream of <laughs> or uh, uh, any upcoming project you like to share uh yes of course we spoke about street um and then my show is still going on on mtv every friday at 7 pm um and uh, there are there are two projects but i can't talk about them big projects once i announce them myself then we can talk about them <laughs> but they're okay. they're good good stuff okay lastly uh, one uh, if you like to uh, show the one step to all the audience uh, if you like to sure. any belly dance or anything okay one sure. step we'll do something from this sure. and let's play the song <laughs> do we have speaker out here uh, uh, anyways they'll, they'll, they'll put it on edit Hey, what's up? Hi. Oh. Hey, just rewind a little bit. I'm just saying. To the signature step of Dilbar. Um, hands up, one on the head, one over here. Lift the hip up, and then we're gonna drop, drop, drop the hip. It's gonna come right now in the chorus, and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, ready? And. Oh. <laughs> thanks thanks thank thanks you.